You're listening to Pace Flippers Take on the World from Brooklyn Public Library, a podcast where kids save the day by exploring their interests, discovering new books, and talking to real live experts. If you can take over the show, you can take on the world. Hi, Rachel. Oh, hey, Shanitha. We just ran out of library cards, Rach. I'm just going to grab some from your file cabinet if you don't mind. These kids are so excited to check out new books. Wait, don't. Oh, Rachel. What? Is there a hamster in your file cabinet? Why, Shanitha, this is uh, my new assistant, Harold, for story time. How would the hamster help with story time? Uh, he could hold the book for me. And he sings. He's very good at Old MacDonald. You know, Old MacDonald had a hamster. As amazing as it would be to have a hamster assistant during story time, I don't think it's the best idea. You're probably right. I just love animals so much, and I thought if I pet sat my friend's hamster and pretended he was my assistant, I could learn to be a good pet owner. Oh, I understand that. Pretending is a great way to discover what you like to do. Once, I pretended that my mop was a microphone so I could learn to sing like Aretha Franklin. (laughs) Oh, whoops. It's time to start the meeting. And the magic. How should we get to the meeting room this time? Book shoot? Tunnel? Secret staircase? Book shoot! Hey, you all out there. Want to come with us? Just close your eyes and... I'm really good at cooking. That's so cool. Maybe one day you'd like to work as a chef, or own a restaurant, or write cookbooks. I can draw a really amazing monster. I'm really good at painting. Wow! Maybe you'd like to be an illustrator for books, or work as a computer animator for movies, or video games. Page flippers, take on the world. 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 I can do so many things. I read about the things I dream. I flip pages like a chef flips pancakes. I'm a page flipper. I can do anything. Page flippers. here for the first time, I'm Librarian Shanitha. And I'm Librarian Rachel. And I hereby call to order this meeting of page flippers, kid book lovers who want to be the best readers and the best people they can be. You know what we love to say, we flip pages like a chef flips pancakes. That's right. To start off our page flipper meeting, let's do our imagination recitation. Everybody join in. Want to travel the world? Just flip up a page. Want to save the day? Just flip up a page. The story I make is up to me. The story I make is up to me. We'll make our world what we want it to be. We'll make our world what we want it to be. When we meet in this library space. When we meet in this library space. We change it to a magical place. We change it to a magical place. Now the magic can really start. What is that? It looks like some crazy magical machine. It's got lots of buttons and levers. Whoa! Whoa is right. It's the Whoa Gizmo. What does it do? Some incredible things but it can't do anything until it gets to know our star page flipper. So let's get to it. Today's star page flipper is Jason. Jason, would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Jason. I live in Brooklyn, New York. Let's hear it for Jason. Yay, 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 Jason. So during the page flipper meeting, we'll find out more about Jason's interests. Oh, 
And then we get to find him the perfect book. That's my favorite part. Mine too. Because when we read, we go on adventures and learn more about the things that interest us. You know, things that make you go, ooh. I still don't get it. What do you mean, things that make you go, ooh? I've got a song about it. You want to hear it? Yay! I'm really good at climbing. Things you love to do and learn about. Things that make you shout out. Ooh. Oh. Things that make you go ooh, ooh, ooh. I love to go to the library every week, and I'm such a good helper teacher with Miss Paul. I love that one. And shout out to the page flippers on this week's Ooh song. Simon Glickstein, and Lapita Roman Payak. And any page flipper can be part of our Ooh song. We'll tell you more about how you can do that at the end of our meeting. Jason, since you're the star page flipper today, tell us, what makes you go Ooh? I like to draw, I like to read, I like to play piano. What kind of books do you like to read? I like to read books about history, like, like the Who HQ books. I also like to read about dogmen and stuff. Do you know what I like a lot? I love dogs. They're like so cute. I want to be a vet when I grow up. Do you have a book about being a vet? Does the library have books about being a vet? <laughs> the woe gizmo can help with that. Jason, if you're ready for the woe gizmo, it's ready for you. Go ahead and pull the lever and see what comes out. It's a book! Wild Vet Adventures, Saving Animals Around the World with Dr. Gabby Wild. You know what it's time for? Book Talk! Talk. Imagine if you will. You've got your hands inside a jaguar's mouth! Good thing he's asleep from the anesthesia you gave him. You're fixing his tooth, and suddenly, he starts to wake up. <gasps> what do you do? I have no idea. What did she do? You'll find out what Dr. Wild did in this exciting book. She has helped animals all over the world, including octopuses, tarantulas, and ibexes, which are wild goats that can jump six feet in the air without a running start. That means they can jump over my head. There are so many wonderful photos of wild animals in this book and wild true stories. What do you think, Jason? Want to check this book out? Definitely. Wait, what's going on? Oh, the whole gizmo's moving and shaking. Is that a screen appearing? Oh, it must be a call coming through. Go ahead and start your video and unmute yourself, Jason. I think the Woe Gizmo has a call just for you. Hi, page flippers. I'm Dr. Alicia Marquardt, and I'm a veterinarian. I heard through the Woe Gizmo you're interested in being a veterinarian. Yeah, I am. Can you tell me more about what you do? I sure can, Jason. I get to help dogs and kitties all day long. It's very fulfilling. What is your day like? Do you have coffee in the morning? <laughs> I do have coffee in the morning when I have time. Uh, my day is very busy, so I usually wake up, I drink coffee on my way to work, and then I'm filled with appointments all day long, seeing puppies and kitties. And, um, and then, yeah, in my free time, I do some research and spend time with my family. What did you have to get better at to be a good vet? I had to get better at listening. So, um... It, it sometimes that's the biggest part of being a veterinarian is listening to what's happening to the pet and what that owner tells you. Are you ever scared when you have to do surgery? I am scared sometimes when I have to do surgery, especially when it's big ones. So, um, you know, you always worry you're going to do something a little bit wrong, but most of the time it turns out just fine and you get to save that puppy's life. What about, what about, is, are you disgusted in it? Never disgusted, no. <laughs> so it actually, I, I like it a lot. Surgery is one of my favorite things. Does it cost a lot of money to be a vet? It does cost a lot of money to be a vet. So it actually costs as much to be a vet as it does a regular doctor. 
Um, so you have to take out student loans or you have to get money from the government that you eventually have to pay back with lots of interest or you have to pay them back more than what you what you get for them. And it's always best if you can try and work while you go to school. So you, instead of taking out so many loans, you can actually pay for your, for your schooling without taking that many loans out. How do you help the community? So I help the community by making sure that there's not diseases that humans can get. So we make sure we vaccinate all the animals for rabies. Um, that way humans can't get rabies. I also do a lot of education with owners to let them know what their pets can give them, like intestinal parasites or certain bacteria. One thing, my pug actually had um, a like worms in him, like the parasite worms that were in him. He had that, but it's gone now. Yep, yep. So that's what we, yeah, we screen for that annually and we give them dewormers because those are things you can get from your dogs. So we want to make sure you're healthy too. Okay. Next question, what are some other jobs I could do if I like was working with animals? There's lots of jobs you can do if you're not a veterinarian. So you could go work at the zoo. Um, my son himself, he wants to be a marine biologist and work with the animals that are under the sea. So that's something you could think about. Have you ever tried to help a shark? I have not tried to help a shark. Sharks scare me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I do have an appointment to meet with a hamster. Flip a page to find me anytime. Bye, Dr. Alicia. Wow, that was really cool to talk to a vet. And those were some great questions you asked, Jason. Now it's time for our last segment of the show. It's time to grab a grown up. Shake your head up and down. Snap your fingers with the can't snap, clap your hands. Side to side, just do your dance. Grab your grown up. Grab your grown up. Just do your dance. Take them by the hand. Grab your grown up. Just grab your grown up. Grab your grown up. Take them by the hand. We know you're in there, grown ups. We can smell you. Not really, but we know you're there. <laughs> and if your mama or your auntie or grandpa or your uncle or your big brother or sister is washing dishes or something, pay slippers, just turn up the volume on this one. Shake, shake, and do your little dance now. Here's our grown up moment for today it's a conversation starter. Hey, Flippers, ask your grown-up about some of the things they were interested in when they were your age. Can you believe Grandpa used to be six years old? <laughs> Grandma used to be five. <gasps> Grown-ups, ask your page flippers what jobs they might be interested in right now and the things they love to do. If your kid wants to find out more about veterinarians or any other career, a great resource is Career Cruising, which is a database for kids and grown-ups that you can access through our website. Did you know that the book we shared with Jason, Wild Vet Adventures, is an actual picture book that you can check out from your local public library? We'll put links to that book, plus a list of even more books about animals and veterinarians on our Page Flipper website. Grown-ups, head to bklynlibrary.org slash pageflippers to learn more. Oh, and kids, if you want to join our Ooh song, ask your grown-up to use their smartphone or computer to record you saying something that makes you go, Ooh, like, I'm really good at riding horses, or I like cleaning the bathroom. Rachel, I don't think anybody likes cleaning the bathroom. Right, well, something like that. And then your grown-up can email it to pageflippers at bklynlibrary.org. That's it. Page Flippers, see you next time on our podcast feed or anytime at the library. That was such a fun Page Flipper meeting. We just need to reshelve a few books, right? Right. Shouldn't take too long. Man, the library is so different at night after we're closed. Rachel, was that your stomach growling? No, and I'm pretty sure it's not Harold the hamster either. I already gave him an organic grain bowl with oats I hand crushed myself with the back of my toothbrush. That is a high level of commitment for pet sitting. I know, I'm really in it to win it. Oh my god!
gosh! There's a jaguar in the library! Yikes! Uh, excuse me, jaguar. How did you get into the library? That's Ms. Jaguar, and you left the wall gizmo open. Babbling books. I knew I forgot something. Ms. Jaguar, I don't mean to be rude, but the library is closed. Of course. I'm just here for one book. Do you have a library card? I have it right here. She's right. That is a library card. Maybe we should just give her the book so she'll get out of here. Good idea. Okay, Ms. Jaguar. Let me check out a book for you and then you can be on your way. Which one do you want? The one you're holding looks mm, yummy. Yummy? Did she just say the book is yummy? Oh Oh my goodness, she did not just eat that book. This is why we don't let animals in the library. You're going to have to return that book, Miss Jaguar. It's for reading, not for eating. Mm, But it tasted so good. I've always thought books needed a bit of salt myself. I'm going in there after it. Rachel, you can't go into a jaguar's mouth. Oh, well, you just did. Hey, guys, what's going on? Jason, what are you still doing here? I was trying to check out another book, but the library closed. I'm so glad you're here. Rachel was just swallowed by a jaguar. I'm going in. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Shanitha. It looks like we both need help now. You're right. And it looks like only Jason can save us now. Kids, take over! I can hear him. He's calling for backup. Page flippers, are you still there? Kids, Kids take, take, over, take over, over, I guess. Maybe? Page flippers, we can't hear you. You're going to have to be louder than that. You're strong. Let me hear your big voices. Kids, Kids take, take over! over. In the name of Page Flipper Jason. Now a jackboard can't move. I can get some help from the vet. Hello again, Jason. Hi, doctor. My friends are in trouble, so can you please help? Oh no, I can try. What do you need? If there's something stuck in an animal's stomach, what would you do? Well, it sounds gross, but I would probably give the animal something to make them throw up. Oh, that is gross. (laughs) Yeah, but if your pet ate something weird, you should take him to the vet first. Good thing you're here. Jason, how's it going? Great, I know how to save you. We knew you could do it. Okay, Mrs. Jaguar, since you're basically a big cat, what we do for kitties who eat something they shouldn't is that we give them medicine and then we spin them around really fast. Hmm. The vet wants me to spin around in this desk chair. (sighs) The things I do for the sake of a good book. Okay, here we go. We're alive! And here's the book the jaguar swallowed in the first place. Someone's going to have to clean it. I'm going to have to clean it. Pace Flipper Jason, you saved the day. Yeah, thanks so much, Jason. We really couldn't have done it without you. And thanks to Dr. Alicia, too. My pleasure. Now I really do have to go see about that hamster. Pace Flippers, there are so many things you're good at, so many things you can learn, and so many great things you can do. Page flippers unite! Wait a minute. I think we surprised them. They didn't say it with us. Let's say it all together. Now all the page flippers listening out there, I'm looking at you. Okay, on the count of three, we'll all say page flippers unite. One, two, three. Page Page flippers flippers unite. unite! Now let me check this book out for Miss Jaguar so she can get back in the woe gizmo. 
Page Flipper's Take on the World is brought to you by Brooklyn Public Library. It's produced by Virginia Marshall and hosted by me and Shanitha Fryson. Our script is written by Virginia, Shanitha, and me. Original music from Ty Fryson and lyrics by me, Shanitha Fryson. Maddie Flythe and Merle Friedman designed our logo. Page Flipper's Take on the World is produced with support from PRX and is made possible in part by a ready-to-learn grant from the U.S. Department of Education. Our team of children's specialists and library professionals include Jessica Raleigh, Rachel Payne, Fritzi Bodenheimer, and Kevin Kelly. Kevin Kelly and Yesha Nike were our program magicians for this episode. They created book lists and programs that librarians and teachers can use for kids of all ages. Check that out on our website, bklynlibrary.org slash pageflippers. Special thanks to Dr. Alicia Marquardt, a real live veterinarian from St. Louis, Missouri. On the episode, Dr. Alicia talked about taking out student loans. Well, scholarships and grants are also available for going to school, and this is free money you don't have to pay back. We've got more information on that on our library website as well. Remember, page flippers, if your pet is sick, you should definitely take them to the vet. But if your cat had something yucky in their tummy, like Miss Jaguar did, a vet really would give them medicine and maybe spin them around a little to help them throw up. Crazy, right? No animals were harmed in the production of this episode. Our Jaguar was voiced by Raquel Sion. Kid voices on this episode were Jack and Melina E. Our star page flipper was Jason Baturla. See you at the next page flipper meeting or wherever you get your podcasts.